Tay people. And the place to be, what's going on? It's me, it's me. If it's Thursday, it must be a different world. Ooh, and where you come from? We are watching <laughs> Season 3, Episode 6, Wedding Bells from Hell. Now, this is the episode where Jaleesa and Walter decide they're going to get married. Uh, wow. This is, this is ba it's basically the end of the Walter... Jaleesa relationship, which is a shame. Uh, I the last few episodes they've kind of made Jaleesa and Walter's relationship an afterthought, and kind of started moving Walter into the afterthought space as well. And I believe the third season, which we're in right now, is a season where we lose Walter, where Walter takes off like in the middle of the season. Like it's not even season finale. Like he kind of leaves in the middle of the season, and this may kind of be why, uh, because they kind of phase him out, almost like they did Letty. So, like, as the progression of Whitley and Dwayne jump to the forefront, and they start building on other characters like Ron, Freddie, and Kim, they forget, and actually, you know, Dr. War and Mr. Gaines, too, they don't do that entirely for... Walter and Jaleesa, the older students of the group. They've got the core students, they've got the staff, and even though Jaleesa and Walter are like right in that middle area, they don't continue growing them as characters as much. Like you start to see that flounder a bit, uh, especially in this third season, and I think Sinbad, to his credit, probably saw that happening and probably decided that he was going to take a hike because of that and move on to greener pastures, and I don't necessarily blame him. Uh, Don Lewis would later on in the series, but she was stick around for a couple more years uh, yet. Uh, however, we are here for Season 3, Episode 7, uh, Bells from he Wedding Bells from Hell. Now, this is a drinking game, after all. Uh, there are some rules, after all. Um, if Don Lewis breaks up and laughs, full real, full real. Uh, not that fake stage laugh, but the real Don Lewis laugh, which you actually haven't seen a whole lot of in the last couple episodes. Starting to scare me. I think we might hear, because there should be a tender moment near the end, at least with her and, 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 and Walter. Take a sip. Colonel Taylor's called anything but Colonel Taylor, and, or sir. Take a sip. Uh, if Mr. Gaines says, mm-hmm, oh my goodness, you take a sip. If Ron gets insulted or shot down for a date, you take a sip. If Whitley gets insulted, you take a sip. If someone snaps back at Whitley and insults her, you take two sips. If Kim is called Kimberly Reese, you take two sips. And if Whitley gets an impression of, somebody does an impression of Whitley as their modern mirror, you, fin you finish half your drink. Uh, if Dwayne flips the shades up or down, you finish your drink. And if somebody says Konishiwa, you finish your drink. All right. Episode 7, Season 3, Wedding Bells from Hell, starts right on the, on the zero. Starts right now. I know my parents love me. Stand behind me, come with me. Mm, I know now that I'm ready, yeah. For I finally heard them say It's a different world Ooh, and where you come Yeah, you know That was a lot of gin That was a lot of gin Oh, fuck, that was a lot of gin You can dish it We can take it hey, Just remember that you've been told it's a different world, yeah, well, it's a different world, yeah, than where you come from, ooh, 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 than where you come from. Ah! That was a lot of gin. God damn, that was a lot of gin. That was a real Don Lewis laugh. Yeah. 
That's another one. That's a real laugh. Can you finish the donuts, please? That's a Whitley snapback. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. To be married to do this trip like they probably can just go on the trip Something year old Jasmine guy, so she can leave me anywhere. She can leave me anywhere. Hell, 50 something year old Jasmine guy can leave me anywhere. Shit. That is a Whitley snapback. That's two.
has another one. Get it, Dwayne. Come on. Come on, son. Go for yours. Go. Ah, oh, come on. Leave, Kim. Leave. Just leave, Kim. Just damn it, leave. Kim. Kim. Kim, all you had to do was walk out that door. Kim. All you had to do, Kim, all you had to do was walk out that door. Kim, all you had to do was walk out that door. All you had to do was turn around and close that door slowly and quietly. That's all you had to do. You had one job. You had one job, Miss Kimberly Reese, and that was to walk out that fucking door. Jesus, Freddy. Damn. That's an insult on his age. There was an mm hmm. There's an mm hmm.
By the way, Colonel Taylor's going to marry Jaleesa. Spoiler alert. That's a strange dichotomy. And I think Sim didn't Simbad host Showtime at the Apollo. I mean, it was Tommy, though. Yeah, her first husband was played by Tommy from Martin. So, you know, I'm straight as an arrow, but we going Sinbad versus Tommy. Tommy wins, don't he? So then what happens? I've seen this a couple of times and I can't remember exactly what happened. By the way, Dwayne is not wearing his glasses for these for these they they want him they want him in a sexy bag. That's rich. Get it, Dwayne. Pull her into you. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. That's not Velma. That's not the Velma they had before. I think this Velma only shows up once. <laughs> I wonder why they switched Velma's. Get it, Dwayne. That's my boy. That's my boy. That's it. Get your woman. Get your woman, Dwayne. Get your woman. Get her. Get your woman, boy. Look at her face. That's my boy. That's my boy right there. Get your woman. Get your woman, Dwayne. That's it. That is it. By the way, that's an 80s ass tux. That is an 80s ass tux Walter's wearing. By the way. By the way, did you see that little that little wagon, Miss Kimberly, we Miss Kimberly Reese's dragon? Mm-hmm.
This is so ironic. This is so ironic. Oh no, Walter sticks around for like another season. Walter sticks around for like another year. At least on the payroll. There's a mm hmm. <laughs> That's Mr. Gaines. Mm hmm. I remember. They could have waited, they didn't have to do this now. I don't I don't know why they decided to break them up. That was a very fast decision. Somebody was right there with with that song ready to go at that moment. Again, they probably didn't have to be married to go. They probably could have just gone. Why though? But why? Get your girl, dog.
Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> they fell for it. The audience fell for it. Can we talk about the genuine reactions of the audience as they were watching this, especially the Whitley Dwayne dynamic? How cool that was. Uh,. I don't understand. And, and, you know, maybe it's a writer's room thing. Why? It, maybe it's just a, you know, uh, sweeps thing because this did air in the middle of November. Maybe they decided they just needed something big. So they went with a wedding and they went with the breakup of the wedding because they didn't want to put these two together. So they, maybe they wrote themselves into a corner. So here's probably what happened. Sweeps. Sweeps happens. Uh, and they decide they need to do something big. They decide they're going to go for a wedding. Now, of course, they wrote this, you know, weeks in advance, you know, before it went out and all this other stuff. But they were like, oh, this is going to be a sweeps week thing. Shit, we don't have anything for sweeps. And NBC was like, you need something for sweeps. And they're like, shit, we don't have anything for sweeps. Can't we just do a normal show? No, you got to do something special for sweeps. Okay, so this is late 80s, early 90s. This is 89. So that means wedding. So we need a wedding because they weren't doing funerals then. That was a 90s thing that popped up. And need, or babies. So it's weddings or babies. There wasn't nobody pregnant before. So now they got to do a wedding. Shit. Who's ready to get married? Well, the only couple we got on the show is Walter and Jaleesa. But shit, we like their dynamic dating. If they get married, that might fuck with their dynamic or something. Shit. So maybe we go through with the wedding for the advertisements, but don't actually go through with the wedding for the actual characters. Well, shit, that writes us into a corner. Now we got to break them up. Terrible. Terrible decision. Terrible decision. I liked Walter and Jaleesa together. There was no other way to break them up. Because Walter wasn't going to two-time, and neither was she. They they would have eventually just had to reach the decision that they were going to split apart. And I know, I know, in real life that happens. Two people that are really compatible. I've been there. <laughs> First hand. Two people that are really compatible just kind of grow apart or whatever. But they never grew apart. They grew apart all in this, they kind of came this kind of divergent thing in this one episode. It all happened within the span of these 22 minutes. Like, deep within the span of these 22 minutes. Like, it all happened because Walter went to go get his car washed. That's a terrible reason. That's awful. That's awful from a narrative standpoint. I understand they had limitations they had to work through because, you know, it's, it's a sitcom in the 80s on network television. But... Bloody hell, why even do that, though? Like, I know it gives us a, a Walter and Jaleesa-centric episode, but God damn it, why even do that? And even then, and even then, the big takeaway from this episode is the Dwayne Whitley dynamic that gets solidified in this episode. They solidify that dynamic while breaking up the other dynamic. Later on in the series, you understand that they can have more than one relationship going on between the characters. For some reason, they decide that they're going to break up Walter and Jaleesa, and that's a shame. And you could tell that there was actual chemistry between Don Lewis and Sinbad, at least on screen, at least as as a, as friends as friends. Or there's there's some kind of chemistry there, and I like them as a couple because of that chemistry. And you can tell that it, they still have that chemistry. I watched, I think I don't know if it's Sinbad's latest special, but it was a special he did recently. Uh, and at the end of it, he brings his band on to play. And Don Lewis comes on stage. She comes on stage to, you know, to, to do a little, to not see, she doesn't sing, but she comes on stage to kind of, you know, to, you know, just to come on and everybody pops because everybody loved that relationship between Don Lewis and Sinbad. And everybody, I loved that. That was a, that was a very natural thing that they had on screen. And they broke it up probably for sweeps. And that's terrible. Ah, that's terrible. 
<laughs> That's terrible. Oh, I hate that. I really hate that. But part of what I don't hate is you telling me down there in the comment section what you thought about it. Uh, personally, I never would have broke them up. Or I guess if you eventually had to, I don't know. I don't know what you do with that. I don't know what you do with that. Like, you kind of, like, the way, you just don't break them up. Like, the only solution is you just don't break them up. And I just wouldn't have broken them up. That's just it. That's just, that's the solution is you just don't break them. Party will tell me what you think down there in the comment section. Like, share, subscribe. Patreon.com slash Surreal469 is the place you need to go if you want to help keep the lights on at the party. I am Surreal469 on everything except for Daily Motion because fuck Daily Motion. Uh, but we will be back here next week. Uh, there are other videos running around. Uh, check those out on your way out. And in the meantime, in between time, as always, cheers. I'm a nice guy. I'm a nice place. With a nice smile. On my nice face. Turn it back and I'm making sure my night's straight. And when you're out of town, I'll be making sure your wife's straight.